Welcome to the Alpha Card ID Suite version 10 Standard Professional and Elite Edition Converting Designs Guide. Here's what you'll learn. How to export an existing design as a JPEG. How to import an existing database. How to import the JPEG as a background. And how to recreate your previous design. To begin, you will need to export your JPS design file from AlphaCard. To do so, click on the Properties button. Select the Badge Printing tab. Click the Export button. Choose where you would like to export your design. Click the Save button. Click the OK button. Click the Close button. Open the JPS file that you have exported. Remove any objects on the card that are not static. For example, we will remove the photo, the first name and last name, and the barcode, but leave the Acme Technologies logo and blue background square. Once you have removed all of the objects, select the File option. Select Save As. Name the new background for your card. Select the Save As type box. Select the JPEG file item. Click the Save button. Save the background as 300 dpi, which is the standard resolution for card printers. Click the OK button. Click the Close button. We recommend moving your database to the new data file in AlphaCard ID Suite. If you are using the sample database, it can be found at Program Files parentheses x86 slash AlphaCard Systems slash AlphaCard slash Sample Database. Right click to copy your database. Select Documents. Double click the data folder. Paste the database into the data folder of AlphaCard ID Suite. Open your AlphaCard ID Suite and select Add Card to import your design. Name your new card design. Optionally, you can also provide a category for the card template. Click the Next button. We recommend using the step-by-step -step wizard for the best results. Select if your previous card was single or double-sided, or landscape or portrait. Click the Next button. Click the Next button. Select the I want to connect to another database button to import your previous database. Select Add a new database. Click the Add button. Click the Open button. Select the type of database you are importing. If you are using our sample database, it will be type Microsoft Access. Click the Ellipses button to browse for your database. Select your database. Select Open. Click the Next button. Click the Open button. Select the table you were using in the previous database. In this example, we were using the ID card advanced table. Click the open button. Select the auto number 
or primary key of the database. If you are using our sample database, it will be an ID number. Click the Next button. This screen will allow you to configure the information seen under the Names section of the main interface. Click the Next button. You will want to allow editing database records. Click the Next button. To import a photo directly from a webcam, you will need to set up a storage item. Select the table you are using. Select the primary key. Select the database field that you want the photo stored in. If you are using the included database, this will be the photo field. Select to store the cardholder's photo. Click the Finish button. Click the Next button. Now that the database has been imported, you need to import the background image that you made from your previous card design. Browse for your background. Select the background image that you had exported. Select Open. Click the Next button. You don't need to add a logo as it should be included in the background image. However, you will want to add a photo if your previous card included one. Select the Photo drop down box. Select the database field that includes your photo. Click the Next button. Use the screen to add the fields onto the card that you were using previously. Click the Next button. Select if you want to add a 1D barcode onto your card. Click the Finish button. When the Designer window opens, you will see all of the objects you have chosen from the Setup Wizard. Drag the objects to where you want them on your card design. Resize the objects by using the blue rectangles around the currently selected object. If your design is missing any elements, in this example the barcode, you can add these elements by using the Insert tab. Select the missing element. Draw a box on the card where you want the new object. Use the drop-down box to select the field you want the barcode linked to. Select the Close button. Close the Designer. Your design and database have now been successfully imported into the software and you can continue printing badges normally.